to be back in our studio and I'm loving that they're allowing me to sit on this couch uh, only because I have a really, really nice guest with me today, um, Brinson. Oh, I'm flattered. Thank you very much for having me. Welcome to the studio. It's fantastic to have you over. So um, today I decided that before we're going to dive into like the usual things that we do here for Russia Beyond when we talk about current affairs a little bit and read out your wonderful comments, etc., I would like to introduce you mm -hmm. and to allow you to well, basically introduce yourself. Tell us uh, who you are, what are you doing here in Russia, and how long have you been here, etc. Well, is it okay to be nervous? <laughs> it's uh, it's super normal to be nervous. Okay. I'm s I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting, but it's true. Uh, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm Brinson Junior, uh, Kadanya. I'm from Kenya. I've been studying in Russia for almost now uh, two years. Um, I'm studying in People's Friendship University of Russia. Yeah, that's it. That's it so far. The People's Friendship University of Russia. This is one of the biggest and among the most popular Russian universities, not only in Russia, but in the entire world, and justifiably so. There are a lot of things that make this university unique to stand out from the rest. There's a Russian joke that goes claiming it is the grand fountain that the university has, which makes it the most sought after learning institution among students who want to seek professional training in this university. Of course, the fountain is one of the things that will blow your mind when you visit this university, but there is a lot more than just the fountain. This is the purpose of this video. Stick until the end, and you will find out why Rossiski University at Drugi otherwise known as Uden, is as popular as it is. university because that's like a melting pot that it's it's a university that was set up during soviet times i believe and it was especially opened up for um people from different countries to come and study here um well first in the soviet union now in russia and you've got people from all over the world and also if you're in moscow please know that there are some amazing restaurants there mm -hmm. like i go to to one with indian food and it's super cheap and it's amazing mm -hmm. In order to give proper context of understanding the People's Friendship University of Russia, it is important to travel back in time and look at the history of this university. Its unique attributes started way back at the time when it was being founded. As you have already heard, the idea behind this institution was to provide an opportunity for students from all over the world to get a decent education. This is especially so for developing countries which at the time, during the 1960s, these countries were struggling for independence and establishing systems for self-governance. When the university was founded in 1960, it was named after Patrice Lumumba. I am thinking this was a symbol of solidarity with the different situations of students that were expected to come and study here from different countries all over the world. Well, who was Patrice Lumumba? Patrice Lumumba was a Pan-Africanist and an iconic revolutionary in Africa's history. He was Congo's independence leader and the first democratically elected leader of the country. He dedicated most of his life to fighting colonialism, exploitation and injustices. Lumumba played a critical role in Congo's fight for independence from Belgium until the time when he was assassinated. His assassination was marred with a lot of controversies conspiracies and mysteries to date. This is something that you can explore further to understand why it is so. A decision was later made by the Russian government to change the name of the university from Patrice Lumumba to the People's Friendship University of Russia in 1992. There are a lot of factors that are thought to have led to this decision, which we are not going to explore in this video. There are thousands of students from all over the world who come to Russia to study every year. A big number of these students go to Uden. Mm. 
basically all regions of the world are represented i have met someone or at least heard of an individual coming from some of these countries in my time studying at Ruben. This is one of the rare opportunities that students studying here get. A total of 158 countries are represented in the People's Friendship University of Russia. everything in campus so that's true it's like a city on its own it is it's like the whole world has come mm -hmm. so we get to hit to get to sample a taste of each and everyone's culture you get you feel like you want to listen to some russian there's a, a place where you can get to hang out with uh, yeah. a russian arabic side africans on the other side latin america on the other side so for us it's like a sample of each and everyone's culture all Perfect. over the world it's like a perfect sushi set. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's much better than that. It's really, I, yeah, I, f I feel like I need to go up there. It's, uh, it's quite far away from the city center, mm -hmm. but my lord, mm -hmm. the food. It's beautiful. You should know that apart from education, students get to interact with each other to learn and appreciate from the different cultures of the world. The university organizes cultural events and festivities all year round for everyone to be able to show what their culture has to offer. What is interesting is that all these events are modeled to correspond to the unique calendars of the different countries. It may be an independence celebration or a unique holiday specific to each country. So you can be rest assured that with the 158 countries, there is always something to see from a different country almost every day of the year within the university. Having been a professional photographer, I got a front row seat to the unique experiences from different countries. I have been able to capture thousands of memories, some of which I'm able to share with you. I'm still thinking of the best way of documenting all the pictures that I have and I would really value recommendations from out there if they are in it. Of course, this video will not be complete without highlighting some of the alumni from this university. There are thousands of professionals spread all over the world. Try looking it up and you will be surprised at the number of prominent people associated with this university. These are just some, but you are free to add more and let us have a conversation in the comment section. I was only able to pick out a few of whom I could relate to. social aid from the Russian government is a weird one yeah, yeah you do? We, do, we do we do um, so you come in as a foreign student yeah basically the, the the system with the Russian education is every student receives uh, stipendia uh, no, look at me. which is social which is social aid for studying um, if you pass your exams exams mm. and you're good enough that's when you get it but you can also choose to 
um, study there's, there's commercially a, where you pay the university. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, the thing is there's a constant fee that they give you, social aid, but then when you study and when you pass your exams, it keeps on going higher and higher. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the thing that goes on in the Russian education system. I guess this brings us to the end of this video. And you know what we say, if you found this content interesting, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I will see you in the next one. Until next time, ciao.